today I'm going to test how much current this amplifier uses. It's written 600 watts, but the RMS value of the speaker outputs, it's actually 50 watts per channel. This is the power supply I'm using. And if you notice right there, the 12 volts amperage is 18 amperes. So this here is an ammeter. You usually connect it in series. This is the power from the power supply. I've connected it back here. Then the output goes directly to the voltage plus input of the amplifier. So I'm just going to turn on the amplifier and play some music and we will record some readings and do some calculations. So the needle on this um, ammeter, it's a DC, it measures DC current, it's not exactly zero. I've managed to set the, cam the camera straight on. You can see it doesn't point to zero. So the amplifier is on and we are going to play some music. But before I do that, let me explain how all this came to be. I received a comment on my car power supply modification video and this guy commented, Alfric, constant 650 volts output converts to a huge electricity bill for just listening to music. Well, I've not replied yet. That's why I'm making this video. So let me just turn on the amplifier again. We'll do some testing, then I'll do some explanation and calculations at the end. So right now I've connected a single subwoofer, single coil, I've bridged it here and a single mid-range speaker on one channel over here. So this is my normal operating volume. So the needle is barely moving. Uh, these are four graduations. This means that at the center here, let me get a pointing thing. At the center here is 10 amperes. So this is 5, 10, 15, and then you see 20. And this is my normal operating volume. Uh -huh. The base boost is set to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my volume and see what happens to the needle. So you can see we are just barely hitting 5 amperes. And this is maximum volume. So let me set my base boost to middle range. Let me just show you where the base boost is real quick. This is my base boost. Let me set it to the middle position and then we continue with our test. The needle is just barely hitting 10 amperes. The power supply, you can remember, the power supply over there has a maximum amperage of 17 amperes at 12 volts. 
So I think what you're going to use, you're going to use 10 amperes. But before I do that, let me set the base boost to maximum and then we test it for like 10 seconds. So it's pretty loud. The vibrations you can hear are things vibrate, vibrating on the table and all around the house. So you just so we just hit 15 amperes, and I have another video on Twitter because I couldn't put it on YouTube because of copyright issues. But I'll put the link in the description below. And at that time I was hitting 20 amperes. So for now, I'm just going to use 15 amperes for my calculations. So this is how we calculate the power. It's the voltage multiplied by the current. So the voltage we know, it's a cardio amplifier. It uses 12 volts. So it's 12. The current, I'm going to use the maximum. But you saw the needle keeps jumping up and down. So for the average, maybe let me use just 15. So what do we get from here? It's 180 watts. So, assuming that my power supply over here is, is very efficient, we are going now, this is DC, this is DC voltage. So, assuming my power supply is 100% efficient, I'm going to use these 180 watts to calculate the amperage we are drawing from the AC. So power again is volume, voltage, I mean, multiplied by current. So if it's 180 watts, and again I'm saying, this is assuming that my power supply is 100% efficient. The voltage is 240 volts times the current. So you're just going to do 180 divided by 240. And this will give us 0 0.75 amperes or 750 milliamperes this is this is from ac and this is very little electricity very little again so there's no way listening to music is going to ramp up your electricity bill you've just seen that i'm drawing 0 0.75 amperes or 750 milliamps from the plug and that's a very low current considering the even the fuse over here is 10 amperes a lot of electricity so the short answer is playing music from your card audio amplifier at home does not increase your electricity bill just enjoy your music remember these calculations were, were on the high end so normally you saw i just use five amperes so it's very little electricity i use i i don't listen to that loud music very much and it's only maybe for one hour on a single day so thanks for watching and goodbye.